Hello Mayors, welcome back to Build It With Smith. This is episode two of the SimCity Build It New Beginner series. Um, we are now at level three in SimCity Build It, and we've just unlocked the parts. She's telling us about the parts. The parts basically help to boost your population, the population of the buildings that they touch. So look at all these parts. We've unlocked some of them. There's a lot more that we unlock later on um, in the game. So right now, um, well, we don't have a lot of money. We're gonna either choose the small fountain park or the modern park. You can see that we get a 5% boost and a 10% boost. So let's go with the modern art part to go ahead and get the 10% boost on our building so you can see there that plus 41 if we place that building right there uh that part we're going to get plus 41 now if we move it here we're going to get plus 51 that's because it touches more buildings right there at that point we get to touch three buildings and uh, versus two buildings there so uh we're going to actually go ahead oh uh all right we're going to actually go ahead and place it right here for now and probably move it later. Now, the other two buildings that it's touching are not residential buildings. That's our town hall and our building store. Now, checking real quick to make sure that the population data of the pollution data layer isn't corrupting our residential houses. It looks like we're right on the border of that. All right, so we can actually do some upgrades uh, now that we just picked up those two nails. And here she's just explaining what I already explained to you. And we get an achievement here. What is it? 400 simoleons. 400 simoleons. Uh, that actually works out. Because what? We just spent... Uh, well, no. We, we spent a lot more than that on our on our part. So a little bit goes back into the pot. Um, so let's get some more residential buildings going. You see we have three. As long as you, you always have... A maximum of three residential buildings that you can place at once now if you already have one uh, that has not been uh, worked on yet you can only then place the remainder but you can place up to three and we're gonna go ahead and just place uh, two here right now um, if you have a question such as how many buildings should I have eligible for upgrade at a time I would tell you that you shouldn't have any more than five to seven buildings between five and seven buildings you always want to keep uh, the production the factories in production especially at these this level because you don't have that many you don't have that many uh, places all right let's go to Daniel City because we were looking for some raw metal raw material there to make those nails which we need to do our nuts upgrade oh look it is a oh here we go here we go so we what we have there is, is a prize uh, for visiting Daniel City when you visit people's city uh, you may get that prompt there and they can give you a prize for visiting the city so that worked out for us because we were actually needing those two metals so now we can do that upgrade right there and uh, like I said it's very important to keep things in production at this level um, in your factories um, I think we could probably put out a couple of more factories until we reach the maximum at that level and uh, we'll get a surprise reward when we do some more manufacturing um, and another little achievement there so let's keep these things going so that we can get that special item whatever it is and uh, so yeah like I was saying um, I don't want uh, you don't want to get overwhelmed with buildings at this stage because that would be bad uh, you see our happiness is at a hundred percent that means that uh, well all your residents are happy should I say it really doesn't matter if they're not at a hundred percent at this part because there's a lot of other things that come into play later on in the game like uh, right now i think the only thing that they're probably worried about is the pollution just separating your residential buildings from the pollution and you should be all right to keep everything at a hundred percent happiness we haven't unlocked the fire department or any of the other services you get the fire department first then you get the police then the health or maybe it's the health and police i forgot which one comes but those are later on in later levels I think level 8 maybe something like that might ring a bell for when you unlock the fire station so 
Uh, at this point, to get your upgrades eligible for upgrades, you just have to uh, have the material, obviously. And as long as you keep the pollution data layers separated from the residentials, then you'll be okay. But as you can see, it's easy to run, uh, run, run out of material. So uh, if you're going to be in and out of the game at this point, like in other words, if you're going to be uh, closing the game out and you know popping back in maybe you're at work maybe you're at school maybe you're at home whatever uh, then this I would say make sure you you keep some something in production before you close out the game put some raw material in production uh, typically take the ones that take longer to produce like the wood at this level I think takes maybe five minutes or three minutes I can't remember it actually decreases as you advance in the game you can upgrade your factories and it will improve the speed that they make the items at so i don't know what it is when you start out the game um but i think for me wood now takes like two minutes three minutes something like that but like i said yeah you want to keep those things in production grab the metal and then immediately go in put some other things into production here and uh you know to check your your building store as well make sure that things are happening there so uh, we've kind of, yeah, let's put out another factory here and we're going to put wood in there. So yeah, three minutes, three minutes is what it takes for wood. Um, you know what? I, 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 meant, I spoke out a term there is actually the, the raw materials in the factories never changes. That's always going to take how long it takes, but you can improve with the stores like the nails. You can improve the time that it takes to, to do the nails, for instance. As time goes along, you can upgrade your uh, your your uh, building supply store, uh, you know, for a specific amount of simoleons, and that then will get you uh, improve production. All right, so checking back in here, um, I would say that we can buy another slot uh, with. With our simoleons there so if you want to know what is a good thing to spend your simoleons are because you only start off with 50 at first i would say buying an extra slot in these uh buildings the commercial buildings is what they're called you'll unlock more but they're called the commercial buildings and unlocking another slot for us there is a good way to spend a little bit of simoleons not a lot of bit just a little bit and uh yeah you want to slowly start ramping up your production by getting more factories by getting more uh slots in your building supply stores now the factories uh the way that you get more slots with them is you just buy bigger factories right now these are the free factories and i, I believe you get maybe five of them to start out uh, i believe it's five and you can buy other factories as you get you know if you want to spend the money really um and it you know with buying more uh, better factories, the pollution data layers get smaller. They start to shrink as you go up in your factories. And like I mentioned in my first video, it, 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 you can get a green factory that has no pollution that it outputs. And I think it's like maybe 15,000 simoleons a piece. So that's later on in the game when you want to spend that kind of money. But yeah, the bigger factories that you get, the more production slots that you get. I think you can get up to six, five or six with the uh, nanotech factory. That's the green factory. And so uh, there's, there's, I think, maybe four or five different stages of factories that you can buy. They cost more money, but the pollution data layers shrink for them as well as the... Uh, uh, well, they don't... The production data layers shrink and the production slots increase. That's the best way to put it. All right. Uh, so it's nighttime now. And folks are still working, as you can see. Uh, the city is somewhat booming. We've got a couple of houses, a couple of apartments folks are living in. So we, we've seen these upgrades start to happen. We go from the small little trailer park house as it starts out when you're at level one of your building and like i said there are six levels uh, the, at the sixth level your building will now then be a skyscraper 
Um, we don't have, have, have any skyscrapers yet. That one that's on the left is not a skyscraper. That's only maybe a level three building, four maybe even. And you can see that uh, the folks with the with the uh, with the thought bubble there in the middle are happy to be living next to the commercial building, which is the building supply shop. And I think I might have mentioned this in the first video that it, it you you don't want to. You don't want your factories to be near any of the residential buildings, but it's okay to have things like your town hall, uh, parts, and building supply shops uh, right up against the factory, uh, right up against the houses. They actually like that. It increases, well, they just like it. it I don't know if it really increases their happiness. The parts do, but uh, I think the other things do also. They may like it. So uh, that's kind of how you can start to lay out your city we are almost at level four. All we need to do is upgrade a few more buildings. And uh, obviously that's not gonna happen in this video, but you can kind of read in between the lines of what we're gonna do. We're gonna, keep, uh, we're gonna keep improving the production for our nails, and we're gonna keep making wood planks until we do, maybe we need about five more upgrades here to uh, uh, add to our experience points there, which are going to get us all the way over turn that dial all the way up it's about at nine o'clock now it's going to turn it all the way up to the 12 o'clock slot and then we would have achieved everything there is to achieve in level three of sim city build it and again um i will be posting one of these videos every week you can go back to the first video if you came across this one and you need to see the first one uh, i've also done this series before so if you do want to kind of jump ahead uh, you can do that by all means um, and uh, check out some of my other video I've got hundreds of SimCity build it videos if you just happen to come across my channel don't know who I am I've been making SimCity build it videos uh, since the game came out so that's been about six years almost so uh, oh, here we go we have upgraded now we are at level four and we will end the video right there and come back with what we've unlocked. We gotta let the video finish playing out since we're here. We'll go ahead and see what has all been unlocked at this level. New exciting buildings, and we've achieved some things, or we're working on upgrading those buildings now. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Snarkle Flap.